Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hands-On ICD-10 Coding Tutorial, Session 2, Basic Steps with More Examples. In this session, we will use the knowledge learned from Session 1 to do more coding examples. As we learn from Session 1, we have a three-step coding process to code an IC10 CM code. Step 1 is to identify the main term from the patient condition. Step 2 is to look up the main term in the ICD-10 CM index to diseases and injuries. Step 3 is to verify the code in ICD-10 CM tabular list. Among the three steps, step 2 is most time consuming and also most difficult step. In step 2, we basically do an index lookup by main turn and subturns. There are three ways to do the job in step two. The first way is the basic way. You browse through the index page line by line by scrolling down. This can be time consuming when the index page is long. The second way is to use the find function from the browser like uh, Firefox or Chrome or IE. You input a term and do a find and then this will bring to the entry with the main term or subterm directly. You can save a lot of time. The number three is the uh, fastest, fastest way is to search the index. We will show you this by examples. The first example is left foot pain. The second example we go through is chronic systolic heart failure. For the first example, left foot pain. The main term is pain, and then level one subterm is foot. Level two subterm is left. Let's go to ICD-10-CM, Index to Diseases and Injuries. The main term is pain. Look for P, click P, and look for pains. Pain here. And now we need to look for foot. We might just do a search here. We find a foot here, and then it refers to pain, limb, lower. So you need to look for another subterm, limb. So look for limb. Limb, lower, foot. So we don't have a third level subterm, left or right, but that's okay. We have find the uh, code M79.67. If you're using a paper book, you can now go to the tabular list section of the book and look for the entry for left foot pain. So this is using the browse index. Again, we can use the third way, search index. We can just type in the left. Oh, we don't have left here. Well, if we type left foot pain here, you can't find it because there's no uh, third sublevel for left or right. So we, we just need to look for foot pain. Here, we see the pain, main turn, and then subturn limb, and then lower, and then foot. Again, we get the same code, M79.67. So in the online book, we can click the link directly go to uh, tabular section. We are looking for left foot pain. So this is code. We are looking for M79.672.
there's no instruction notes for the code itself, but it's the parent code. We do have some uh, notes there. Exclu excludes two pain in the joint. This means pain in the joint or pain in the foot. They are mutually ex exclusive, but you can code both of them. That's the meaning of uh, excludes two. So we finished the first example. Let's go to the second example. Chronic systolic heart failure. The main term is failure. Now we have three level subterms. First level subterm is heart. Second level systolic. And the third level subterm chronic. Let's go to the coding page, uh, coding book. ICD-10-CM, index to disease and injuries. We are looking for failure, start with F, click F, and then failure failed. That's the main term. And then now we look for heart. We passed it. We might just uh, do a search. First level subterm heart here. Oh no, that's the second level. First level here. Now under heart, we need to look for second level subterm systolic. Here, systolic. Now we find we need to look for the third level subterm, chronic. Chronic is here. So the code is I50.22. So we have finished step two. So if you are using a paper book, you can go to the tabular section of ICD 10 and then look for the code. I see uh, I50.22 and read the code description and uh, instruction notes. Here, before we go to the uh, tabular list, we will show you the search index way. This way is a faster way to get to the entry. So the uh, term we are looking for is chronic systolic. We have a main term here, failure, failed. We have systolic here and chronic. And then the code again is I50.22. The same code we when we look at the, uh, using the, we were using the browsing, browse index. So let's click this code. Then we can go to the tabular list. Also there's a, uh, notes, instruction notes here. We have a code also note. If the patient also is the end state heart failure, you need to code I50.84. So, and also it has an include, uh, exclude one, combined systolic and diastolic heart failure. In this case, you can co code only one of them, either this one here, this one here, or code this this code. They are mutually ex exclusive. Exclusive one means you can code only one code. Let's uh, just click this code, and in this end stage heart failure, you also have see the code. Also, you need to code. I50.2 something. So in both of the code also, they are they 
all include the entries so that you can refer to each other. So I think we finished the second example. Let's go back to the slide. Finally, uh, we have a faster way to do the coding for those two examples. This is not uh, the traditional way takes three steps. But here we call it faster way or medical code center way. We just need to input to type in the uh, phrase directly into the uh, search uh, search functionality. Let's go to ICD-10CM. There's a search ICD-10CM code. In this search page, for the first example, left foot pain. You see, we immediately get the code M79.672, pain in left foot. This is dollar sign here means it's, uh, this is a billable code. And then you can also go to the tabular list by clicking the book sign. Here you can read the instruction notes. For the second example, chronic systolic heart failure, we can also use the faster way. So the first entry, chronic system uh, systolic congestive heart failure, I50.22. This is the code we were looking for. See, this search, you don't have to go through the uh, identify, uh, the, go through the three, uh, three steps, identify the main term, and then search index. Here you can search the uh, code directly. So also, this is a billable code, and you can go to the um, tabular list by clicking the book sign. Here, you can read also read the uh, instruction notes. So in summary, we show uh, you how to code the two examples. One is the traditional way using the three-step uh, three process. The other way is to use the search functionality. You can just type in the uh, code, the, um, you, you can type in a condition directly into the uh, search uh, page and, and you can get the um, code. Also, in the um, index to disease and injury, you can also type in the uh, term, the main term and subterms directly. Say like foot pain. And this is especially important, you know, for the beginners because the beginners doesn't know the foot. They can find the pain, but they didn't know that the foot will be listed under limb and also under lower. But here you type foot pain directly here in the search index, you can find the entry directly. And also you learn how the index is built, the terms, subterms. Another one was the knee pain. Same, the knee is listed under joint. So this is also uh, can help uh, the beginners. That's uh, about it for session two. Thank you very much for watching.